Good morning, everybody. It's your boy Marlon. Um, <clears throat> this morning I was strolling down my timeline um, on Facebook, and, uh, and and the video I posted yesterday. It was actually yesterday. Um, had over three hundred some views. It was um like 315 to be precise, you know. So obviously a lot of people viewed it and shared it. I got a few uh, comments and responses, you know. A lot of people saying, uh, you know, express yourself. You ain't gotta uh, keep your mouth closed to keep certain people satisfied or people being content with you being around because you're silent, you know. As soon as you open your mouth, uh, and say something that, that, that certain individuals don't agree with or groups of people don't agree with, then um, oh, something wrong with this guy. You know, he, he don't like white people. He, uh, he racist. Um, you know, he, he on some bullshit. In all actuality, I'm not on no type of bullshit at all. You know, I'm just trying to get people to open their eyes up and, and and realize some things, you know, some things that I realize. And I ain't trying to, you know, create no following or nothing. I don't want no motherfucker to follow me or, you know, uh, uh, interfere with what I do on a daily. All I'm trying to do is share some awareness about the topics that's going on in the urban communities and, and, and our communities as a whole. Boy, um, first of all, when I say they, it, it, it ain't necessarily white people or racist people or um, anything of that matter. It could, it, when I say they, just just know I'm talking about uh, people in higher positions, people that that's uh, that that's been governed higher positions. You know, uh, people that just do everybody dirty. You know, y'all call it whatever y'all want to. I ain't by no means racist. I don't, man. Some of the, some of the, some of the people that put me in a position to uh, express myself or uh, to give me some type of financial stability or you know, uh, even motivated, even motivation for me, uh, been white people. You know, been been Europeans and Caucasians and uh and, and Latinos and people of my skin color, black people. I'm inspired by everybody. I'm motivated by everybody. Um, I just I just know the society we live in is fucked up. Everybody know it. They doing all type of dirty shit to us in the urban community. And uh, uh, people in the white community, y'all getting y'all ass done in too. You know, don't think it's just the urban community. The only thing, the difference is they separate us. You know, they cause this division that's so strong between the blacks and the whites that... Um, Y'all don't know the shit that we go through on the regular. Y'all don't know the stuff that go on in the urban communities with the police. Oh, the police do us so dirty. The schooling. Schooling ain't nothing. All the teachers uh, uh how to work and, and, and the history of the white man and, and how they dominant and superior and black motherfuckers ain't never really did nothing. How, how many black people you see in the history books that, that make you proud to be like, oh yeah, I'm a black person and I'm proud uh, of my heritage and my race. Uh, they don't show you none of that shit in school, man. A history book you open up a white man standing on the top planting the uh, American flag and some claiming victory, boy, it's just it's just stuff they teach us in school ain't shit, you know. They don't teach you how to get no real money, how to be an entrepreneur, how to uh how to how to how to, how to make a way, how to how to find your uh your inner traits and um and exploit them to the max to where you don't need to be dependent on a society full of workers, man. It's, it's a lot of deep stuff that I could talk to y'all about. A lot of people don't want to hear it. I don't get no fuck. You ain't got to hear it. Turn, just click, go down your timeline. As soon as you see me, just scroll past me. Man, if you find interest in me, don't, don't find negative interest in me. 
You know, don't don't stop and see what I'm saying and find something negative to say about it. If you don't like me, if you don't like what I'm saying, if you don't like nothing about me, scroll past. That's it. Go on about your day, man. But the people who do find interest, who want to stop and view, because I had 300-something views just talking. If you want to stop and learn some shit or teach me some shit, or, or correspond and we and we get some type of intellect about each other and and about life and why shit's so fucked up for us. Why motherfuckers doing us so dirty? Why why they keeping the black race and the urban community uh heavily oppressed? Liquor stores there well, uh super expensive ass clothing stores there well, uh uh the restaurants, all of them give you garbage. Fuck you up. Healthcare ain't helping us. Healthcare fucking us up. Man, y'all see these recalls? Boys recalls that, uh, you know, the FDA, the Federal Drug Administration, they approve some shit for you to get to get better, say it help you in it, and, and, you know, it gets you better. Then you look up six months, nine months, a year later, cause cancer. It cause uh, some type of disease called tumors. Uh, it fuck you up. This shit that the FDA approved, they gave they stamp of approval on this shit. Man, they fucking, they fucking the urban community up from all angles, and we know it. Motherfuckers don't want to say nothing. The few people that do say something, they gather amongst themselves and talk about it and leave everybody else in the dark, you know. Ain't, ain't nobody helping each other, teaching each other for real. Motherfucker, uh, throw you a couple dollars, uh, give a sermon or something, and think they done better the community. Man, we done all did it. We all do our shit to make ourselves feel better, you know? But, uh, ain't, no, ain't no real change coming forth. If anything, we just getting worse as a people. We fucking each other up, we shitting on each other. Uh, for, for, for instance, just go down Facebook. Go down your timeline. If you ain't got a bunch of positive people on your timeline and, and you done limited your friendships and your associations to where um, everybody trying to teach each other and be positive and talk about something encouraging or something inspirational, then uh, go down your timeline. See all this type of bullshit. How they destroying our black people. Uh, saying, saying R. Kelly, uh, surviving R. Kelly and, how they did Bill Cosby and, uh, and, and how they letting how they letting motherfuckers off for killing black people in the streets and and the consequences is 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 uh, damn near none. You know us us as black people we can't do shit wrong. If we do anything wrong we getting crucified. Boy they trying to penalize us. Man y'all know what the fuck I'm talking about. And man it's just so many topics I could discuss from the churches. Look, the, the church is a sensitive topic. Religion is such a sensitive topic, you can't say nothing about religion. Boy, they're going to blackball you. They're going to screw you over. They're going to look at you like you're doing something wrong to the community. Man, everybody think their religion the best. It's called division. Man, urbanism, how they structured all these motherfucking um, black communities to live in squalor and suffer and be fucked up and, 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 and downgrade us as humans. Man, you got some black motherfuckers that got some money, don't get no fuck, you know. Once you get the bag, cause that's how they keep our mouth closed. That's how they keep us shutting the fuck up and being compliant by giving us a bag. You see every motherfucker got a bag, turn their back on their community. Motherfuckers leave in the urban communities. Ain't nobody reaching back. Motherfuckers taking their little selective group and getting the fuck on. Man. It's just fucked up in the society we live in. And I know it. I, done, I lived in it 38 years in the streets, in the penitentiary. Uh, I done had some nice things going on for me. Uh, soon as you fuck up, your everything get took from you. Man, let, them, uh, let you think you're on top of the world and you got something going on and fuck up in society. Do something that, that, that the powers that be don't, don't approve of. Boy, they gonna tear your ass down so quick, put you in a penitentiary, lock you up, take all your shit away from you, make you feel like you're worthless. Man. And they'll turn your people against you. It, it ain't just black people turning against black people, it's white people. Boy, I live in Danville right now, another urbanized community uh, within Illinois. Uh, you got some nice places, but you got some real fucked up places everywhere. 
the majority of Danville got some rundown places, man. Uh, let you be white and don't got no money. Don't know how to make a way for yourself. Ain't get a, ain't get granted certain things in your life because you was white. Boy, they got a place for you. They call trailer parks. Man, there's so many big ass trailer parks everywhere, all over where I stay at. Man, all white people in there, they living fucked up, you know, because uh, they 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 couldn't make a way for themselves. They fell victim to urbanism. Man, it's a lot of stuff that I could talk about, y'all, you know. And, and, and now that it's a, a few people viewing me, you know, a, a lot of people ain't saying much because they feel bad about what I said. I don't get no fuck. I said what I said, you know. I ain't said it to make nobody feel bad. I said it because it's the truth. This is just how I feel. If you don't like it, you don't like it, man. But uh, the, the reality of it all is that, um, that we all fucked up. We all in a fucked up society. Man, it's certain stuff that I want to say that I can't say because they might not put this on Facebook, you know. But uh, ain't nothing going to get better unless we all link up as one and make it better. And I know that sound far-fetched. Ain't nobody trying to link up and, you know, get to know nobody or help nobody. It's all about individuality and our, our personal families and, you know. But it's some people that do care, you know. And... and I just can't stress enough, man, that uh, we, we, we in a bad place. And, and it's only going to get worse, man. And, you know, we can't just keep thinking about self. We can't just keep thinking about self and our family and our children and who we immediately care about and love about and, and love and fuck everybody else. We can't keep doing that. We could keep doing it, but look at the situation. Look where we came from. Look at any urban community. From the projects, when they tow the fucking projects down, scattered everybody all over the city, all over Illinois, wonder why shit fucked up there. Well, man, they created a monster in them projects. Boy, the living conditions, the poverty, uh, how you get rejected in society. Man, they do so much dirty shit to black people. And to people on the projects, people on the urban community, uh, gentrification. They they tore down the projects, uh, uh, re renovated them, rebuilt them, got them looking plush and beautiful as hell right by downtown. Everybody checking the bag, man. Everybody downtown. Uh, if you if you're close to downtown, the the uh, your your rent shit like that skyrocket. Man, you got you got buildings next to downtown, man. Cost twenty five, uh, uh, th three thousand a month to live in for small ass apartments, man. They got thousands of units up in them projects, man. It's all about a bag. Everybody know it, you know. If you live in today's urban society, if you live in society, period, today, and you think it, and you think it ain't about money, everything ain't about money. Boy, you're a goddamn fool and you're blind. What you think it's about? Hey, look, man. I'm just expressing my opinions, man. And, and if you get mad, it, it ain't gonna affect me. What you gonna do to, I ain't never had shit. You know, the little shit I thought I had, it got took from me whenever I went to the penitentiary. So I always had to get out a victim of recidivism, get out, start all over, and figure it out from scratch. Man, I just, it, it's a few things that I just had to say, get off my chest, man. And I know y'all watching, you know. You ain't got to like my videos or say wow or uh, give a love heart. You ain't got to do none of that. All, all I'm trying to do is express this information to the masses. Hey, look, man, y'all have a wonderful day. It's a blizzard out here. Y'all stay warm and be blessed and be safe, man.